Okay, so in this nugget, we're gonna talk about a little habit that'll take you a long way, and that is do what you say you're gonna do. This one simple thing has probably gotten me and many other top performers as far as any other habit that we've created. It's amazing to me though how many people don't do this simple thing. If your goal is financial success, which most people watching this video it is, then doing what you say you're gonna do is a habit you're gonna want to master and get on it right away. Most people have formed the habit of coming up with excuses rather than the habit of doing what they say they're gonna do. Don't be that person. It doesn't take long for people to figure out which type of person you are either, especially the people that matter to you the most, your spouse, your kids, your friends, your coworkers, your bosses, your clients. I'll give you an example of how this can hurt you, a simple example. We had a contractor that had quite a few different projects he was supposed to be working on for us on some of our commercial properties. From day one, he wasn't able to hit any of the deadlines that he was promising. Dealing with contractors for us is very important to know when they're going to start a project and when they're going to finish a project so that we can coordinate all the other projects with all the other contractors. When one misses a deadline, we have to push off a bunch of other projects and it creates all kinds of problems for us. This particular contractor that I'm talking about would give us start and finish dates on particular projects and sure enough, day by day, the excuses would just keep rolling in as to why he couldn't get it done at work that day. His kids are sick his in-laws are in town, he's got employee problems, whatever it is. Most of these are probably bullshit because he's over-promised to more people than just us. And now he's trying to juggle all these promises that he's made. So instead of giving realistic timelines that are thought through, he tells everyone what he thinks that they want to hear, whether he can follow through on these things or not. Short term, this strategy may get him a few more jobs that he's looking for, but long term, it's gonna have a devastating toll on his reputation and his business, and that's exactly what happened to him with us. Since he continued to miss deadlines, I gave him a firm deadline and ultimatum on a specific project, and if he didn't have it done, then we were gonna have to fire him. This particular project required him to use a big, large lift, and he had three days to get this done, probably one day's worth of work, and there was three days to do it. So instead of taking all three days, which is a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, he tried to cram it all in on the Sunday. The problem for him was that when he showed up on Sunday, the big lift was broken, it wouldn't run, so he wasn't able to do the work. Of course, he sent me a message and said that he wouldn't be able to do the work and it wasn't his fault because the lift was broken and it wouldn't be done by the Monday it was supposed to be done by. Now, he actually has a legitimate reason that he can't get this job done, kinda. I don't know if I'd say it's totally legitimate, but it's too late. I've lost faith, faith and trust in him, so I had to fire him. If he just done what he said he was going to do in the past, it would have been easy for me to overlook small problems like this particular lift issue. But because that wasn't the case, he lost the big contract and he has to deal with all the other repercussions that are going to come along with this. So the moral of this story is just do what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. Quit over promising to other people. It's only getting you in trouble and deeper and deeper into trouble. Get yourself organized and quit procrastinating on poor and important things so you can stay on top of this stuff. One of the greatest compliments that I've ever received was from a guy named Scott Sterling, and he said, Chris Blakely has only done everything that he's ever said he was going to do. And that's important to me, and this should be the reputation that you are looking for or striving to have with everybody that you're working with. And that's what I'm trying to do. Since it's such a rare quality, you're also going to have a leg up on so many other people. This is how you get handed more responsibilities, get quicker promotions, bigger pay raises, more clients and contracts. If you're in sales, this is what makes more people want to purchase from you because they know you're going to do what you said you're going to do for them. So be aware of what you promise to other people and make sure you'll be able to follow through on those promises before you commit to them. Once you commit to them, no matter how small the commitment it is, follow through on that commitment. Of course, things are going to pop up and you won't be perfect, but if the consistent theme is you display, I do what I say I'm going to do, people are going to look past the few times that you're not able to do that for whatever reason. There's an old business cliche that says, under promise and over deliver, and many of you have heard that. It may sound cheesy, but it's super powerful. Make sure to make this saying a part of how you operate, how others perceive you. 
If you get it the other way around and you're over promising and under delivering, you're gonna end up juggling so many balls it'll be impossible to keep them all in the air. You'll be like the boy who cried wolf and when you actually have a legitimate excuse, nobody's gonna believe you or care. So to wrap up this simple nugget, do what you say you're gonna do when you say you're gonna do it and focus on that and make that part of who you are in a habit. Start making that a habit in your entire life. Write it down, keep it in front of you all the time until it becomes ingrained into the neuroscience of your brain. So practice this skill because it is a skill. It takes responsibility, organization, and discipline, but the rewards are well worth it. So work on that and go have a great day.